Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. And we're failing at jumping. Um, so yeah, I figure I got good news and bad news. The good news is that um, I figured out the time limit problem so my videos can be 15 minutes from now on. So yeah. Bad news is that I can't fix the um, flicker problem, so y'all are just gonna have to deal with that. So stick with me. Um, yeah. Also, you're probably wondering why there's so much um, time between my videos. Some of you might think that I'm really good at this part, by the way. Some of you might think that it's because, uh, uh, some of you might think it's because I want more subscribers. It's not because of that, although I do highly recommend that you subscribe to me. I will love you for it. Anyway, the reason there's so much time between my videos. Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky thief moves. Super sneaky thief moves. Anyway, the reason there's um, so much time between my video uploadings isn't it, it's because I have to find a time to upload where none of the rest of my family is listening. Because I just can't stand it. Because they just hear my voice and not the actual gameplay. And my brother's always playing Call of Duty in the living room. And unlike most of you who have their computers in their room, I have mine right out in the middle of the central room of the house. I'm going back in for the vault, by the way. Because I, um... I told you all I would show you where all the vaults are. Wait, didn't you already say that? And you know what that means. Tighter security. You're gonna have to be extra sneaky to get the treasure key. I hate it when they repeat what they say, it just means I can't say my stuff. I don't mind triggering the alarm if it's right there. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in 436. Okay. Well, it's a glitch. I typed in one number higher than um than what Bentley said it was. Bentley, you were wrong. Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories That's claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. So we have multiple power-ups now. And, um, yeah, so place our calling card, because everyone knows that when you steal something, you of course want to let everyone know it was you who did it, and that's the roll, by the way. I don't think I'll be using that much. Yep. Just smashing stuff. No! Be quiet! Again, I'm real sorry about the flicker. I think it changes whenever the camera moves. That's when I think the flicker occurs. So from now on, I'm gonna try not to move the camera unless I can help it. And so we are going into the machine. Uh, open the doors of fire. Better close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. What was the point in Sly taking out his Binakukon for that? I've always wondered it. Because back in the high class heist at the beginning, Bentley set his thing just by popping up at the bottom of the screen. Ah, 
Ah, shut up, Bentley. Anyway, um, that, did you see what he just said? That was in a little text that allowed me to play while he said it. And so, uh, looking for bottles there. And, uh, I don't see why he just didn't do that at the beginning, because Sly didn't say anything. I don't know, it's just a little something I've always wondered. By the way, ooh, shiny green bottle. By the way, if you get 100 coins, you get a lucky charm, just in case you haven't played this game before and you didn't know. But the way I see it, if you're watching this LP, you either like the game so much you want to hear my commentary on it, or because you're or because you're about to get the game and want something to occupy you or because you want or because you might consider getting the game and you want to know how good it is. Those are the older well, maybe other reasons but those are the main ones I could think of. And someone has a disembodied head of one of Sly's ancestors. And getting all the bottles. That one really should have fell through that and got smashed in the fan but but then we couldn't open the vault, so of course that couldn't happen. Let's get that last coin, and epic. It is golden now. And fast epic dive on the thingy. And here we have giant electrical fans. Brawly is not very safe in his mechanical designs. Also, has anyone else noticed that um, Sly is always dodging lots of heavy mach big machine parts? And I know what you're all thinking, that is what the guy said when he was commentating on the making of Sly Cooper. It's because it is. That's a great video. I think you get it by making something percent on Sly 3. Which I will do after I do this in Sly 2. But yeah, let's talk less about spoilers of future Sly games and more about what games I'm going to be LPing in the future. Oh man. Anyway, in the future, uh, well, I know I'm doing Kingdom Hearts. That's something I've always wanted to do it's with Sora. I've always wondered what would happen if Sly Cooper met Sora. I think that would be a very interesting crossover. Anyway, I plan to do Kingdom Hearts, and I plan to do some Call of Duty games, mostly World at War, because um, I love the Nazi zombies. And Halo, of course. I'm either getting Halo Reach tomorrow night, or I'm getting Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I'm not sure which. But if I get Birth by Sleep, I have enough money left over to get, um... Oh, crap! But if I have enough money left over, then I will get that, uh, Shonen Jump big crossover game for the DS. I think it was called Jump Ultimate Heroes or something Mother, like that. You can't open this ball without fighting the rest of the clues. Jump Ultimate Stars, that's what it's called. And so, aside from Kingdom Hearts, Halo, Call of Duty, and Shonen Jump, um, we now can open the vault. Sly, oh, no, wait. Find one more clue if you're gonna open this vault. Wait, I was wrong. I fail. I also don't see the flicker while I'm recording audio. It messes up while it's being uploaded to YouTube. I hate that flicker. Now, this LP would be so much more popular. Like I said before... I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try 227. Anyway, like I said before, I don't know if the Flicker will be on future games. It might be just this one, but that is a torn piece of paper. These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. Ooh. I wonder. Yes, I can wire this info directly. Into Fantastic. Your It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. And that will be really useful for future levels. It will be. I've also wondered, how does Sly's cane never break? Because when you really think about it, it's, um, it's such an odd shape. Like, I made a replica of Sly's cane, and it broke so many times. 
Well, basically because I was whacking it against stuff, but it broke so many times and it wouldn't stop breaking until I screwed a metal, um, until I screwed a metal screw into it, into it, then it stopped breaking. See, that's what it shows you when it shows you a nearby breakable object. This is a, my first 15 minute LP part. Sly Cooper 1 Part 3. And so it doesn't show you, it doesn't show you breakables when you're prowling the grounds. Sly, see that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? Oh, Bentley, you and your nerd talk. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, that was close. So now we perform super acrobatic moves. And, um... Is that smoke I smell? Yes, it is, because there is fire down below. And hopefully there isn't fire at the bottom of that pit. Otherwise, I will be eating fried raccoon for dinner. Oh, Bentley, you and your instant jumping to conclusions. And don't ask me why the place the vault so close to the beginning. Because it just means I'm gonna have to come back. That hurt. No, no, no. Oh, that was way too close. If, um, anyway, I said I record the audio after, or the commentary after, and, uh, I'm sorry, but I fail a lot in this level. If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, if I remember correctly, I do not mind talking over this because Bentley has already said it. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? When I um, was recording the gameplay, I uh, thought for some reason I could. Um, talk over the characters. That was a big mistake. I'm not gonna do it anymore. And, um, I never figured out what those black rocks were. I think they were just ashes or something. It's a giant roulette wheel. Oh, and it's glowing! Oh, whoa. I'm really surprised that didn't fling him off. And, uh,. Yeah. So, let's climb up this pipe and really hope we don't fall down because it would mean instant death. Now, this is the part where I fail a lot, if I remember correctly. Because I try to get the bottles, which I eventually do. But, um... But I look so stupid doing this. I look so stupid failing. It makes me look like an amateur at this game, which I'm not. I I completed all the Master Thief sprints on my other profile. And, um... And those were very... challenging to do. And, um... For some reason, I thought I could make that jump. Don't ask me why. I have less than a minute left. <laughs> so let's be attempting this again. I don't remember if I fail more. I think I do, unfortunately. Why am I spoiling it for y'all? I do not know. So... I'm not gonna try that crazy stunt again. Okay. We all good? Anyway, time's coming to a limit. So for now, this is Razzle for- No! Saying goodbye and I'll see you in-